Good morning. Is it morning? <laughs> Good afternoon, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. How are you all? It's been a few days since I picked up the camera. Um, I'm just having my coffee and I just thought I should say hello. How is everyone? Update me. What is happening? What are you up to? I am... Matt's finished up work really early today, so I'm going to prepare his lunch because he's going to come here have lunch and then I think we're going to go for a little walk. My hair is really floofy. I just, um, I just leave it. I let my hair kind of... <gasps> Matt's home already. <gasps> I'm going to prepare his lunch. Hi darling. Hello. You know what happened this morning, right? Matt left super early. I want to say he left around... I want to say he left around half past six and I was really snoozy so I wanted to have another hour in bed. All of a sudden I hear something knocking on the door and then the doorbell goes and I was thinking who is that it can't be the postman then my phone is ringing it's my darling he's left his keys his car keys so I just I kind of woke up super early no that's a lie I actually went back to sleep I opened the door gave him the keys and I went back straight back to sleep and um yeah been having a relaxing morning Look at my fluffy hair. <laughs> Look how floofy. Today? <laughs> this morning, yeah. <laughs> We're doing an egg panini kind mm. of situation. Do you have coffee? Yes. Thank you. Let's get ready for the day. That's everything for me makeup. I just put on a little bit of highlighter just because I like, um, I have just really have been enjoying that glowy look. I think where it's kind of warmer, I think it's nice to have kind of less makeup. I've got um, the tinted moisturizer on. You know what I have been enjoying? You know having a little brush like this for underneath the eyes. So this and this for underneath the eyes, just where all the creases are. Sorry, Matt just wet past again. Yeah, just where all the creases are. So I'll use this for my concealer and then this just to kind of buff it in place because otherwise I've got lines here and here. It will just kind of sit in between the lines and I, like, you know, the concealer just sits there and I don't like that at all. So I just like blending everything in. I only do this when I have time. I wouldn't do this if I was going to work. It just depends on how much time I've got. You know, some days you just have to quickly get ready and go. There's no time. Oh, and there's a wee coffee shop up there. Been there. I've been there before. Yeah. We were, our plan was to go for a little bit of a walk, but it is pouring down. I don't know, I don't know why, but it's still very hot. So I've got my dress on. It's not like it's cold. It's just kind of drizzling down. Um, it's it's one of my cousin's wedding soon and I'm hoping it doesn't rain for her wedding but even if it does it doesn't matter because it won't last um, and I guess we'll be inside anyways but you don't want it to rain it's August why is it raining this year the weather has been kind of crazy oh, it's not been predictable we always think right in the UK we get June July August some of September you get pure sunshine um, and no rain but this year has been all over you just can't predict it but it's nice going for a little drive around anyways it's really nice and quiet and we're we're enjoying the views that's what's really nice about living in Kent you have Kent is huge 
there is so much to see in Kent and it's quiet. So you know in London, London is massive, but you go to London and it's packed out. You go here, the train station's packed out. You go to the park, it's packed out. You go to the pub, it's packed out. You go to the coffee shop, it's packed out. In Kent, you can find these little small villages and little towns and it's just you. It's just, today it's just been me and Matt and it's just been beautiful. I didn't even pick up the camera, but we've just had us time, which is lovely. This is really exciting for me because I'm, oh, I'm from South London, right? So we don't get the, these views. Whereas Matt's from Ireland, he gets, he's always had views for days. Whereas for me, this is like, wow, cute. I've been here before though. Have you not? Uh, I'll turn you around. Matt said he cycled here before, so that's why we're kind of here. Might pop in and just go for a little walk, although it is raining, so not sure. Just been driving, driving, driving. It's nice to be, I think where I'm the passenger princess, it's actually been a really lovely drive around. No, I like, do I like these? Hmm, that's nice. Literally two, three bricks, that and then that. And then plants hanging and off. And then plants it. on top, yeah. That's nice, isn't so, so it? And it looks a bit is, rustic. Well, the bricks, all we would need is like, we probably need three bricks to cover the thing that's on the floor. Yeah. And then not even that bench. But I'm talking about a sleeper. Even something like that, but lower? Like one of those? Let's see <laughs> what those do. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Look at that. For Matt and I. And then you can have a little coffee. Matt said it's too far apart, but we can move that to that side. And then we... Do you know what we need? A little seat that we can sit right next to each other. Mm. Look at these plant pots. I feel like they have these kind of plant pots in every... Um, what would I say? Every um, garden centre, they have, I think it's the same company. So cute. I love this. I love the blue one. Love this one and this one. We have really been enjoying kind of decorating and loads of plants. I think when it's warmer and when the sun's out, you automatically think about plants and flowers and... Um, yeah, you automatically think about make... Just think about plants and pots and... Even these little plants. I just love plants on top of a place like this. I love like a hanging plant. Um, so there's a coffee shop right there. We just saw this little area here. I don't know if you watched that vlog with Amma helping us kind of sort out our plant situation and we've been very good at looking after and watering and just making sure um, we're even using, you know, the Food? Is it the food for the plants? We have, so at home, we've got this kind of, um, I want to say it's like a drainage pipe, not a pipe, it's like a drainage area. So we want to cover it up. So we thought if we do something like this and then have plants hanging off it, so it covers it up, but also looks quite rustic with, I don't know, I think it would look nice, but does it just look a little bit messy? I'm not sure. We're trying to figure out how to make that area look a bit nicer. I think the thing we're trying to cover up, is it called the drainage area? What's it called? No, it's a... Uh... Pothole. No. <laughs> What's it called? The box where the it's gas little... yeah, it's are, little... electricity reading. No, that's not what it is. It's like a little plug on the floor. <laughs> you could put a plant pot and cover it up, but we're trying to make it look quite rustic-y. What are you on about? Like you could put a plant pot on top. But it's on a bit of a slant, so we need to put a little wooden area. It's quite hard to explain. Let's think about 
my tip a couple of bricks and I wouldn't or should I make That's I'll what mix. I said. No, I, think I'll Let's, mix I think make something because it would mean something to us. Matt's thinking about making a little bench. Not a bench, but a, a mini bench. Not for us to sit on, but just to have plants on top. I think that would look very nice. Um, yeah, but I might sit on it if I want. You can sit on it if you want, but because it's going to be so small. Oh. Sorry, the camera is not sure about the lighting there. But yeah, so we're going to try and put a little bench situation just like that and then have plants hanging off it and it's going to look so cute, I think. What do you reckon? Do you want to go home? Uh, yeah, we can. I love cycling around here because it's like if you're old. Good morning, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. How are you all? We've got our family, com we've got my family coming over, so we've done a deep clean off the place and they're bringing Sri Lankan food. So, <laughs> happy. And Amma said, make sure you don't, sorry, I'm just gonna hold on a moment. Make sure what? She said, make sure you don't buy food bits because there's gonna be so much food. So I picked up these two from the shop. Got classic carrot cake. Matt said this is from Ireland. Okay, West Cork Bakery. Oh, West Cork Bakery. Lovely, so I like this even more now. So this is from Ireland, this is a classic carrot. Got chocolate fudge. I think it'll be nice to have this with a cup of tea later. I'm excited to see everyone because it's my birthday tomorrow. I am having the most chilled out birthday. I said to my darling, I said, please, 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 don't in. Okay, anyways, I was saying to Matt, um, can we just have the most chilled out day tomorrow? I just wanna stay in. I think it's been very much go, go, go. And I just, I'm craving a, day in kind of vibe so he's booked me in for a massage in the morning so my feet neuropathy massage and just let's sit at let's sit and watch the proposal or the holiday so it's nice to have the family over today got my auntie uncle two aunties uncle uh, my mum they just wanted to pop over so they're all coming over um, I think we're also going to go for a walk I'm excited to see them I'm excited for Sri Lankan food um, and then tomorrow it's going to be a super super my sister was like let's just do this and let's do that and I said to my sister the best birthday for me will be just to chill at home and I said darling we're gonna watch a movie tomorrow movie. yeah I even said don't plan anything honestly don't even plan anything let's just have us time at home and just snuggle on the sofa I will go to church tomorrow. I'll go to mass because it's my birthday. So I'll get a massage done, go to mass, then come home. Um, and then I'm gonna be in pajamas. It's gonna be a pajama kind of birthday, I think. I would also like to go for a little walk if the weather's nice. So it's gonna be super chilled. I don't wanna go to London. I don't wanna go anywhere. I just wanna relax. That's kind of what I wanna do. And that's okay. We've had so much, you all know, if you've been watching my videos, you know it's been very much, since like we got engaged, it's been constant partying, constant, constant, constant. And I feel like I've not even had a moment to enjoy the sofa. So that's gonna be my birthday and I think that's fine. I might even watch Love is Blind or all of tomorrow, you know? <laughs> Are you watching it? I don't know, I might just do that instead. Who knows? Um, but excited. I'm so grateful to God for another birthday. You know, just another birthday. I turn tw uh, 20. <laughs> I feel like I'm 20. I turn 32 tomorrow. So I'm grateful to God for another year. I'm turning 32 and I'm praying that it's going to be a good one, you know, a good year. and because the past few years has my, I don't really remember my 30th birthday. Oh yeah, no, we did that barbecue party, didn't we? For my 30th birthday. The 31st, um, Lopa. Hmm? Oh yeah, <laughs> 31st birthday, we went to Paris. I, I'm trying to figure out what we were doing. So 30th, we had the bar barbecue. 31st, we went to Paris, which feels like it, 
five years ago now. No, I loved Paris. That was such a lovely couple of days there. It was so nice, but I'm ready for my 32nd birthday just to watch a movie and relax. Also, we need to start saving up. If we're going to plan a wedding, we're not planning now, we're planning hopefully in September after we get results. We need to start saving up for a wedding, so we can't just be, you know. <laughs> oh gosh, and weddings are so expensive, aren't they? <laughs> They're laughing that I'm cutting it like this. YouTube. YouTube. Ah. After eating. Sambal and bread. Sambal bread. You can stop me coming through that if you want. There, I have come. <laughs> Oh. So with Siti is, she's bought her um, in the pear, upper mixture, so we're going to make upper pear. She made this yesterday. Two, three. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's it. It's been a day of eating, we've been eating non-stop, but I'm excited for upper, really excited. Ooh. Amma and I are waiting for Appam. <laughs> Everyone is outside eating, but I was thinking I'm going to do the first bite on here just because I know it's going to be delicious. It's got a lot of coconut milk in the middle. If you don't know what Appam is, if you Google, is it milk hopper? Google milk hopper, that's what this is. Sambal, yeah? Okay, hold on a sec. Mm. Honestly, all day today we've just been eating, eating, eating. My auntie, Selvijiti, Selvi she makes the best appams and she does it fresh and she makes the mixture, the kind of batter, the night before and then she bought it today. Kind of bench area, so we've set up the little gas hobs out there and it's fantastic. Amma wants some sunburst, she wants to have this with her appam. Good morning my loving Tiffany Thinks family. It is my birthday, it's August the 15th. Um, it's my birthday today. I can't believe I'm 32. I feel, uh, I still feel like I'm 26, 27, you know? So the fact that I'm 32, I'm just grateful to God to allow me to have this birthday and I'm grateful for my life and I I can't believe I'm 32 <laughs> I still yeah <laughs> right I need I think I've got toothpaste yes I have got toothpaste on my mouth sorry about that I'm just gonna put on some castor oil I'm going this morning I am going for a massage for a neuropathy massage to a really kind of fancy pants one do you know the one that matt booked me before our engagement um before he did the proposal i can't believe i had toothpaste all over me um yeah you know the the neuropathy place that matt booked for the proposal that's the day that's where i'm going today it's a little bit fancy pants but i think i'm going to keep that neuropathy place as a special occasion one so anniversaries birthdays christmases you know that's going to be my special one because it is quite pricey but it's my birthday you know so that's been booked in and then i'm going to go to mass um afterwards just because i feel it's my birthday it's actually really n let me move this it's actually nice just to kind of have a relaxing birthday this year. So I can't believe it's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I'm getting phone calls left, right and centre. Um, I am going to spend a little bit of time on my phone just to kind of answer messages and things like that. So I'm going to do that for a little while. And then we shall go for a massage. I really, really 
have noticed just, you know where my big toe is? It needs, just notice that the left foot feels quite cold, but then when you touch it, it's not cold. So that's a weird feeling. So this is very much needed today. Right, I am parking up. It took me a little bit of time to get here, but I am here. <laughs> We still have bits from yesterday. We went to the park and we've got, you know that throwing game where you throw it in, I don't know, I thought the name of the game was on there, but it wasn't. So, you know, there's like a bean bag and then there's a hole and then you throw it in. <laughs> so we've got that there. And we've also got the picnic basket. This picnic basket means the world to me now. I'm gonna keep it forever and ever and ever because if you, you all know, I've talked about it in pretty much every single video since it's happened now. Um, we got engaged and Matt bought a picnic basket and a and one of these a few weeks before he proposed. Um, if you watched my proposal story, that's the, you know the tea with Tiffany things? I think I named it my proposal, my ring, my story and wedding plans. Yeah. That was the exact name. Um, I spoke about all of this. I was gonna be really protective over this and only use it on special occasions, but every day is a special occasion. So we used it yesterday. We had such a lovely time yesterday. We had Uppam and Matt was making Uppam too. And my auntie was teaching him how to do it. And he was really kind of, what time is it? I thought I was a bit late. No, I've got a bit of time. Yeah, and he was really excited to make the Uppam in the little, pan it's really difficult but i think he i think the more you do it you get kind of used to it it was so nice to see everyone yesterday it was just in the diary we had the date kind of put in the diary it wasn't meant to be kind of the day before my birthday but it all just worked out well really we had lots and lots of food that's why i still feel very bloated today because we we're eating non-stop. It was just so lovely to have loads of Sri Lankan food. Did I show you a bit of the curry? I don't know, but we've got some leftovers for today. So um, we've got chicken curry and my aunt made this coriander. Um, goodness, it was just perfection. I am now going to go and relax. I feel very relaxed because I've got no makeup on. My hair is a bit of a mess. I've got my glasses on. I just put on SPF today and um, I had castor oil on, I, <laughs> sorry, I put on castor oil and then on top of that I put SPF, I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but I just wanted kind of a bit of moisture. My heat rash is rashing. <laughs> if you haven't drank any water, this is your sign, please drink lots of water, it's so warm out there. Hiya, morning. Gonna get into my gown, whoop, whoop, whoop. I feel so relaxed already and I've not even had anything done. I think it's because it's first thing in the morning. I'm not wearing any of my jewellery. I've only just kept my earrings on, but I took my necklace off and my ring off as well. So, um, yeah, let's get ready. I'm super relaxed right now. Oh, I think I fell asleep. <laughs> you fell asleep? Right, let's go. That's a friend's quote, by the way. Rachel says you fell asleep. Right. Get my bag out. You know what? It's really nice to come here first thing in the morning and start the day off like this. As oh, let's drink some water. I don't want to stay there for too long just because um, she told me to kind of sit down and relax, but I kind of wanted to get, kind of go home, get ready, just because I have to go to church. Well, I want to go to church. I should really be good at putting in the diary. Um, I should just regularly come. I should just regularly put it in my diary um, because it's so, it feels, my feet feel a lot better. And I don't know, it might be a psychological thing. I. I will have this neuropathy feeling for the rest of my life, which is fine, just because um, it's irreversible. And they told me that when I was going to have chemo. They told me that that's one of the side effects. But of course, I'm still gonna 
I was still going to go through the chemotherapy because that that kind of need, I needed that to happen. I needed that, so I didn't mind about this um, neuropathy side effects, um, the chemo side effects, because my focus was to get better. So. Um, this is something I need to kind of put in my diary and just make sure I get done at least once a month because it makes me think, even if it's a psychological thing, I feel it's important for me to look after my feet and my hands. And um, even now, it's it's cold, it feels cold. Even though Matt will touch my hands and he'll say, it's not cold, it just feels cold to me. So if I feel someone pushing down on my nerves and my fingers and my toes if that makes me think it's getting better i'm gonna do it it's kind of part of my health looking after my body mind situation i don't know um i always kind of set myself little targets for what i want for the next year and for my birthday and the past few years was always kind of get better Get, make sure you get better like all you need to focus your energy on is getting better and fighting the cancer and doing this and doing that you know it's always kind of health related this year round I want to focus more on my darling my family my friends my loved ones I want to kind of carry on making memories and not just on a special occasion it should be we make we put kind of things in the diary and life is just so unpredictable right so i guess after september after i get my results it'll be really exciting to kind of plan a wedding and you know but it's just i haven't done anything my i've kind of even if i get excited about something i just hold off because i want to make sure that the results are okay um so i guess after that we can just plan a wedding so maybe God willing, everything's okay. Um, so I'm just kind of rubbing the oil in. Um, yeah, if everything is okay and nothing has changed in the scans, um, then it'll be exciting to plan a wedding. So maybe this time next year, your girl will be a whole wife. Who knows? Who knows? Just need to pray that life stays like this, you know? I'm in such a good place. Um, especially since we got engaged I feel I've been on a high I don't know if you've noticed on the videos but I have genuinely been in such a good place and it's just been such an exciting time so just got to take each day as it comes don't we that's all we can do I want to stop over at m &S just to get some eggs and maybe some fresh bakery bread. I'm gonna take my glasses off now and put my contact lenses in. I just bought a pair, um, just because I don't want to kind of relax with contact lenses in. And you know, you're not meant to sleep in contact lenses, right? So I thought if I was gonna have a little snooze, I, can, I could because I had my glasses on. So let's put me lenses in. I cut that bit out by the way, so only because I know some people are really squeamish. So, <laughs> although on my channel, you would have seen a lot, a lot, a lot of things um, that might make you a little bit squeamish, but hey, some people with eyes, some people are very, very, um, obviously because my job, I'm an optometrist and sometimes I'll ask, oh, do you want to see the back of the eye? Do you want to see the scan? And I always ask because some people just have this thing where they're very like ee about things so especially the eyes so that's why I, I cut that out let me drink a bit of water you know what right I should be doing on my days off work this should be this is what I should be doing I should be doing things that make me feel really calm and happy and just super zen I woke up really early today and I think it's because I I wanted to enjoy the whole day today of just pure relaxation and so I had a really nice shower in the morning. I woke up, had a really nice hot shower. I didn't wash my hair just because that takes ages and I'm going to save that for tomorrow or another day. Um, yeah, I woke up, had a really nice long shower, I drove into my massage place and the sun is out. 
And now I'm gonna go and get nice fresh bakery bread. I got um, sandwich bits for tomorrow because um, I'm working tomorrow, so I just thought whilst I'm at m and I got the three, four, eight, you know? So I got honey roasted ham and then chicken. So that's gonna sort me out for the next few days, me and Matt out for the next few days with for lunch. I also got bread and a baguette bits and bobs there good morning my loving tiffany thinks family i didn't pick up the camera for the rest of the day yesterday matt and i we just really had a chilled out moment and it's kind of what i wanted for my birthday just to relax and just to be in the house and be all cozy we actually went out for dinner um but i didn't pick up the camera i just thought you know what we'll we'll just have us time um getting ready for work now I am going to see Amma after work because it's my cousin's wedding at the end of the month. I have got um, to sort out. I'm wearing a sari for one of the events. So she's got kind of three events happening. So for one of the events, I'm wearing a sari. And it's a new sari that Amma's best friend got me from Sri Lanka. So it's a special sari. I've kept that for this wedding. And um, when you wear a sari, I don't know if you're familiar, you need to wear a little kind of sari blouse. So I need to get that tailored today. Um, I'm kind of, the lady that tailors our sari blouses usually say, give us the sari, give me the sari a week or two before the actual wedding. Um, so it's the perfect time, really. So gonna go to Amma, go and see Amma, Matt and I are gonna go and see Amma after work and um, we'll sort that out. It'll be nice to see Amma as well. She did want to see me for my birthday, but I told her don't worry um, because it was it was the day that she had other plans and I didn't want her to change her plans, especially because we weren't doing anything. We were just kind of at home. So it'll be nice to see her. Ooh. It'll be nice to see her today. I always feel like now, um, especially after my sister has had two little babies, I always think birthdays should be about the mums because they go through a lot, don't they, in the nine months of, not even the nine months. I'm 32 years old and she's still going through a lot, you know? So I think birthdays should be about mamas. Do you think? Or is that crazy talk? Because we celebrate us being born, which is of course special. <laughs> Long as you love me. That song has been in my head all morning. I've been singing it. I don't even know the, the words to the song. I've been singing, as long as you love me. Anytime and Matt walks past as well. As long as you love me. Na, 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 na. That's it. Tinted moisturiser done. I know some people put tinted moisturiser with their fingers, which you can. You can do whatever you like, really. But I just don't want my hands to feel a bit sticky. So, um... And I'm going to use my eyelash curler. And that's it for my makeup. Look at the difference eyelash curler makes. It just looks like I've got thickness there, doesn't it? I can hear Matt make his morning coffee. Put on some lippy. This is my Hourglass Lipstick in Sparrow. I love, love, love. The only thing is it doesn't last a long time, so you have to keep reapplying. But I just love the colour. It's a lovely work colour. It's a lovely everyday colour, let's be honest. I like it. And I'm going to twist, twist, twist. Because I don't like um, having my hair right in my face. And then I'm going to clip it back, I think. It's a flower. <laughs> <laughs> Morning coffee for my darling. Um, I'm going to take my bullet journal with me today because 
in my lunch break i'm gonna sort out a few bits i need to write a massive to-do list i started it last night and then i got a little bit overwhelmed with how much needs to be done um just little things that need definitely to be done so taking this in i'm gonna sit down sort this out i don't have a coffee in the mornings i have it during my lunch break just because I don't know. I know you're meant to wake up and have coffee first thing, but that really will mess me up, my, mess my tummy up, mess my stoma up. So I kind of allow my body to kind of wake up and and then around 12 o'clock, I'll get a little coffee. Um, I might buy lunch out today. I don't usually, I always make my sandwiches, but I'm thinking it's kind of my little birthday treat the next day kind of vibe. Darling, what do you think? Shall I get lunch out today as a little birthday treat? Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I, I usually buy my coffee out and take my own pat lunch, but I might as well go to Pret or something and mm. get a little sandwich from there. I am all parked up in the car park. I am so excited. I'm gonna go meet my darling Matt for lunch. I'm gonna get a nice little coffee. And um, yeah, it's lunchtime. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Had a really nice morning. And um, I was meant to do my bullet journal. I bought it here with me. Just, I thought I could do this during my lunch break. But, oh, it's a bit messy at the back. I'm gonna clean that. I don't know why there's a little bit of something. I think it's, um, I think it's, um, from my handbag I am going to I was meant to sort bits out in here but I'm thinking I'll do this another day I'd rather spend time with my darling just met Matt for lunch and I bought myself a coffee and I bought Matt a little cup of tea oh little cup of tea yeah. we're just gonna sit on the bench here how cute this is so cute I am home no I'm not I'm in the car <laughs> But I got myself a cool lime and I asked for less ice and more juice and water so it's not too cold. Sometimes when you get a juice and they put so much ice, by the time you drink it, I take my time drinking my juice. So I don't want the ice to melt it and make it really watery. So any, ju any drinks I get, um, I always ask for less ice. So um, this is good. I have decided because I have finished up work and I'm waiting on Matt, it was honestly so nice to see him during my lunch. So he came to meet me just because he had a longer lunch and he was able to come and see me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and sit down in a park. I've got my blanket here. I got my blanket here which I just keep in the car now because times like this you just never know when you need your blanket to go and sit down so I'm going to sit down in the grass I am going to take out my bullet journal and my work diary and my drink and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to finally write down my to-do list get things sorted out because i still have time before i need to go and see the lady who's going to sort out my sari bits and bob I just spoke to amma and she said that she asked me what do you want for kind of your birthday dinner and i said amma i really really just want your noodles you know she makes these really it's just plain simple noodles um where we had nando's yesterday i feel I feel like I don't need a lot of flavour. Even if she, I said, Amma, if you can make potato curry, but don't worry if you can't, I'm happy with just noodles. And she does it amazing. It, her food is just delicious. For me, Amma's food makes me feel happy. I love Amma's food. Obviously I grew up with Amma's food. I'm so, so blessed and lucky because I have two amazing cooks in my life. I have Matt and Amma and they are both amazing at food and Amma does for me, Amma's food takes me way back to when I'm younger and come home from school and Amma has food all ready. So that's when I have Amma's food, it's very nostalgic. Um, nostalgia? Nostalgic? Nostalgic. Whereas when I have Matt's food, it's, I think for me, where I love them both, I just love anything they do. <laughs> I really appreciate both of them so much. So, so much. I have a day off tomorrow which is lovely because I can finally, I know you probably don't understand what I need to do but I've got a lot of bits and bobs that I need to kind of sort out, do and 
so that's why I've, I need to finally sit down and write that down and then tomorrow on my day off I will organize get things done get on it you know I just need to be better at being organized where we got engaged <laughs> if you didn't know I've talked about it in every single video every moment if you don't know we got engaged and things have been super super exciting and we've just been so busy meeting everyone and still celebrating really so um i feel i've left other things on the side where now i need to actually organize this is work work things by the way if you're wondering what i'm talking about it's essentially work bits and bobs that i need to sort out before a certain deadline etc etc a bit boring but needs to be done i just wanted to park it here because the car park was pretty empty and so i just know that I, where i came a little bit earlier as well i just knew i was going to get a spot so um that's why i parked here leave you there um because it's a little bit easier to talk to you when you're sitting there um yesterday i ended up watching love is blind uk not sure about it to be honest um i need to watch emily in paris because the new season is out so on my next me day i will do that to put my hair right up just because it is so sunny out there i probably look so ridiculous with my work clothes on and it's black i don't know why i decided to wear black today um i should have worn my stripy jumper but it is what it is um i wasn't really planning ahead <laughs> so i'm just gonna put my hair right up i look i look quite silly but it is what it is i've got my sunglasses here as well so i'm gonna take this along with me Let's go! Look at me, yeah. Do you want some? I actually no, bought... No, I left you some. No, you haven't. No, I left you some. What? He wants me to move the blanket around. Ah, no, it's alright. I'll sit here behind you. <laughs> Do you want to wear my sunglasses? No, it's alright. How long have you been? Half an hour. We're home now and um, I feel really hot. I think where we sat out for a little while, um, I came home, had a little shower, just because you know I'm gonna get all my measurements and things done. So I don't, I don't wanna be smelly, you know? So now I'm in my cozy t-shirt and flowy trousers. I just wanted to feel extra comfortable and cozy. Max for the car, this is the choice. Um, that is, this is actually very yummy. This is hot and spicy. Oh, <laughs> this is hot and spicy. It looks like this. That is so sweet. So there's a car that's mm -hmm. kind of stopped and Obviously, we didn't know what to do. And these other two cars, the people in those cars, they're big men. <laughs> they came out and they're pushing the car. And I just said to Matt, I love when people help other people. It honestly melts my heart. Do you remember last time I did this to them? When we oh, saw yeah, that happen? Yeah, yeah. Like, I would want to help, but I would oh. make the situation a lot worse. Pleasant. Oh, he's so nice. So, so nice. Oh, and he's got a child in the car. <laughs> and he's got a child in the car that's honestly melting my um, heart because this person obviously he's the car just stopped in the middle oh it was his car i don't know if you saw <laughs> i don't know i might blur him out but it was his car do you think we should have helped i don't think me matt and i aren't that strong i've got crocs on and we both have crocs on i helped by doing this did you see that when he was having i sense? know <laughs> you gotta do a thumbs up you gotta I know I said you have to help, but have you seen all those things on TikTok where people, I don't know if you've seen it, and I don't know if it's a real thing, but you know, some people pretend that their car is broken just for you to get out of your car, and then you try and help them, and then they rob you and steal your car. Have you seen those videos? So just be careful. If you're on your own, and I don't know, it's kind of a situation. There was another one they were saying, you know there's videos that go around saying, girls, please be careful, where if someone is on the floor, your natural immediate response is to stop, pull over, and stop and help that person, right? But there was this, a video 
video going around saying girls just be very very careful because some people pretend and then they try and rob you and steal your car and you can you can kind of assess the situation it's quite scary the world that we live in is quite scary the fact that you have to think about it just because you don't know what their real intentions are <laughs> but I think for me I think just trying to help and whatever happens happens I don't know <laughs> let me know what you think what are your thoughts I think also all these documentaries that you watch and you just you you think you would be really careful but when a situation like that happens your natural instinct is to help so you don't really think about all the warnings you know um, another one is you know at the traffic lights always make sure your car door is locked because at traffic lights if someone tries to open your door they could do something to you if you have any other safety tips for all of us please share it because it is good to kind of be aware of scenarios like you know when you're walking in a dark car park always look back just to make sure <laughs> always look back just to make sure you're safe and no one's following you and just yeah there's loads of little things you need to be th thinking about but I think that's a girl thing you don't think about things like that do you I think it is a girl thing where we overthink a lot and we we worry a lot don't we so yeah any other tips let us all know and we can all read it anyone else been hearing about fantasy football because I've been hearing about it for the past five days <laughs> since Premier League started that's all I've been hearing about you tell them about your team I don't have a team Matt told me to pick a team for this fantasy football thing but I don't really understand it I don't get it Matt is in a group and all these boys they pick their own football team you don't get anything out of it but everyone talks about their players as if they're the manager that's <laughs> kind of what I've got from this Matt will say oh I've got Salah in because my team wouldn't do very well I don't think I'm gonna close this door because it's making a lot of noise That's a lot better, isn't it? Matt left the door open, so I think it was really quite loud. Um, yeah, we are... I don't want to... We are a little bit late, but we should make it on time. I'm going to go and get Amma, and we'll sort out... And also, I realise I'm wearing the wrong bra. I think I should have another bra. Um, so I need to go and change that, because she's going to take all the measurements. So... Oh, there's someone over there. <laughs> Let me... She's gonna take all the measurements. The car is unleaded, isn't it? It's petrol, not diesel. <laughs> In America, you call it gas, don't you? So I'm gonna get some gas. Have you got enough gas? I don't know. That's that's the worst American accent. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was saying I need to make sure I have a good bra on because where they take all the measurements, it needs to be a good bra. The bra I'm wearing at the moment, I want to say it's kind of a, you know, a sports bra, comfy, cozy vibe kind of bra so as soon as I got home I wanted to, I just got rid of the other bra and put this on so that was not a good idea for me but I have another bra I think at our mother, so I should be able to quickly change over um I'm getting a little bit hungry as well but I, have, I can't eat now I'll come back and eat is it all done darling I'm missing a card really debit card yeah I remember I took it last Saturday night I must have got it it's probably at home Thank you. Did you do a full tank? Yeah. Fantastic. Full blast. Full, full blast. Up full up. It will go up when you drive. Yeah? It will go up. Does it? Yeah. All there right. you go. Full tank. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Got the gas. Full tank. Amma's here. Hello everyone. I just quickly wanted to show you what a sari blouse looked like, if you're wondering, because we have a little... I have one from before, so we're just trying to tell her to cut it like this. Um, so this is the front. It's cute, isn't it? And then you kind of have the back like this. And then you've got the actual sari that you have to drape. But um, I think this is the kind of style I want to go for because I like the arms. Um, so she has this LED here. Oh, there's my sister. Yeah, it's quite a big parking spot over there. So this is what a sari blouse looks like. This is not lovely because it's a gold one, but the actual one is going to be a different colour to match the actual sari. 
Um, if you know, you know. If you don't, at least I'm trying to explain. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm really, really hungry. And this is what I kind of asked on my, this is what I want. So um, we've got noodles with chicken and carrots and potatoes and leeks. Is it leeks? Yeah, leeks. Yeah? Yeah. leeks. Brilliant. This is like... This is what I used to eat after school. I used to love, love, love eating this. It was my favorite. Like and then potato curry as well oh, on the side. This is Matt's favorite and mine too. <laughs> You're watching Dragon's Den. Is this the old one? No, it's the old clip. What did you have in mind? Old clips. I'm so hungry. So I'm, I'm gonna go play top. You've eaten, yeah. haven't you, darling? Have, do you want a little old egg? No. Do you want ice cream? I have had a lot of food and I feel very, very happy. My tummy feels happy. I am going to have, I don't think I'm gonna have an ice cream. I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Um, and yeah, I'm just so glad that I got the sari blast kind of sorted out because I don't want to think about it, you know? I just want to get it sorted so then I'm all organized and ready for the wedding, my cousin's wedding. And I've also got a dress. So one day I'll wear a sari. The other day I'll wear a dress. I think I'm all organized now for that. I am going to go just because I think I'm gonna wash my hair now. I might as well just do it here. I like doing it at night time because you all know my hair gets super, super floofy. And then when I wake up, it's nice and kind of settled. Um, <laughs> you all seen my hair when it's just freshly washed. It, it takes a while for it to settle. I'm gonna go. I will see you all in my next video, which will be Thursday. I think. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and join my loving Tiffany Thinks family. My Instagram, Facebook and TikTok is Tiffany Thinks. Thank you so much for watching and being part of my, I guess this is going to be my birthday vlog, isn't it? My chilled birthday video. I will see you all very, very soon. Bye bye. Oh, also, if you haven't subscribed, did I say that already? If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs> bye.